All right, good afternoon, everybody. It's about 3.30 on the 20th of March. Back over uh, at the Gay Raj, obviously. Welcome back. Short cycling uh, my midweek meeting a little bit because of uh, tomorrow being the first day of spring and all, we're going to have another snowstorm because that's, that's what we do here in Connecticut is we have snowstorms. So to make sure that I get my uh, time in, the uh, made arrangements with the fam to get over here uh, tonight. So... Continuing on with the same stuff, cleaning up the body, getting it prepped, and uh, I, may, I may venture off into some other things in case I get a little bored, but, uh, but we'll see how it goes and I'll, I'll keep you in the loop. All right, so I said I'd be working on something else for a little while. Um, not gonna do this for very long, but I just want you to show you. So this is the front balance on the bottom of the car, um, obviously in relatively horrible shape. Uh, big old rust pocket there, where that connector or support brace goes in so that'll have to come out and get fixed same thing on the other side there that's in pretty bad shape let me get light a little better here um, got big old divots there you notice there's two clips there uh, one there and also you can see that this is bent and not even like the other side is or as even so it probably took a shot at some point um, obviously the bottom has been beaten up so I'm just going to uh, take the hammer and dolly and kind of try to flatten out the edges that are really bad there and uh, straighten these up a little bit and then I'm going to take the uh, scrubbing stuff to those, those uh, rust holes and see how bad they are. Now I do have one of these from the black car, I'm lucky enough to secure one of those and uh, I haven't looked at it enough to know what kind of shape it's in but, uh, but it's nice to know that at least I have a spare if I need to do wholesale replacement. So we're going to play with that for a little bit and then uh, we'll move on to the, the nitty gritty stuff. I got them kind of taken care of there. Um, try to find this lip down here and the pliers for that. I want to show you these real quick. Um, get them on camera here. They're called vamp pliers, like a vampire, but pliers. You know, vamp pliers, how I get it. Um, made in Japan, uh, but real high quality. I'll put a link in the description. My brother actually got these for me for my birthday, I believe. And uh, they got a wire cutter in here, and then a whole bunch of uh, nastiness in the jaws there. Really good for um, doing all sorts of general purpose stuff. Better than uh, better than other stuff that I have. Pretty comfortable, but uh, I'm going to use these to kind of help me with this seam here. You do have to watch with these though because the the uh, serrated jaws there can tear into your metal pretty good which is what's happening to me now um, so I'm just gonna get a pair of uh, adjustables I think I'm going to stop with it there because I'm not real sure what this is supposed to look like um, and I don't want to make it worse for me so I'm just going to go over a couple of highlighted spots here that I'm that I'm especially worried about just take the uh, the paint off and uh, see what it looks like
All right, so I got the two brackets that I was talking about drilled out here. That's the one you can see all that cancer in the bottom there. Tops are fine. Um, that's probably actual actually repairable by me because it doesn't get into where it's uh, creased. Same thing, though, not quite as bad on this side. Of course, I want to take all that down to bare metal and see how bad it gets. Um, you can see that cancer that's coming through here, very similar spot on the other side. Actually, the other side's worse. So I'm going to uh, take the coarse abrasive wheel to that real quick. See what that looks like here. All right, so I played with this as much as I'm gonna play with it now. So, obviously big holes there that have gotta be patched. Same thing on the other side. Um, and obviously on the inside, it's much worse because it's that's where it was rusting from. So the water would just seep in there and get trapped in between this piece here and that guy and just sit there and rot. Um, so, uh, just like I said, I just wanted something a little diversion here. But now it's, uh, it's 5 o'clock, oops, sorry, right in the light there, and uh, time to get, uh, get back to getting that underneath part 3 done. And I'll tell you what, this stuff takes just absolutely forever. Um, so I think I got, I didn't even get all the black paint off, but I got enough of it off anyway. Uh, you'll notice I, I took the wings off um, to clean up this area, and then I'm going to go ahead and get it welded in. I never did really come up with a good solution for this gap here. Um, so I'm going to get a flathead screwdriver, kind of pry it back a little bit and tack in a couple spots so that it levels because right now it's not and uh, fill these holes and, and just kind of go from there. Um, jam some seam sealer in there probably. And all these other little spots and everything on the, on the sill here, I'm going to fill all those in with weld metal, get this guy welded up here and, uh, and I'm not going to put the, I thought about putting the strengthener piece in there but I don't think I'm going to do that yet. I'm still kind of worried about that that's going to fit up properly. Um, but yeah, so then after that, I'll get the wings back on and probably go start on the other side. All right, so I got the welding done. Um, not crazy about that solution at all. I got to figure out something there. And not real crazy about this solution either. Uh, that was kind of hard to get to, but uh, I think I filled the gaps and I'll look from it from the top too. Um, this guy here had sunk in on me, so that's going to be a body filler thing. Going to be a body filler thing here, and to fill in all these little itty bitty pock marks and stuff in these welds down here. That'll be body filler also, uh, and got this guy welded up. Pretty happy with that gap there, though. That's really really small, um, so that's cool. Uh, so I'm going to get the uh, the wings back on, get them tightened down, flip the car, and uh, essentially I think I'm going to be done for the night. So. Uh, not enough to, to post the video now, so we'll, uh, we'll catch this back up depending on the snow and all that other stuff, so we'll see you soon.